Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So I am here today. I've got a new foundation I've been using and I wanted to do an updated foundation routine for you. And for one thing, show you the foundation, but also show you what I'm going to be doing a lot this spring and summer as far as my face routine is concerned. Now, as always with these um, foundation routines that I do, the cheap products I switch out pretty much every day. I hardly ever use the same thing over and over. But um, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to use today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the foundation I'm going to use today is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I recently picked this up from Sephora and I really, really like it. So before we get started though, um, one thing I have noticed is I do have dry skin. Let me throw that out there. Throughout the day, I noticed some shine developing on my nose. So I did apply a little bit of a foundation primer, the only one I can use that doesn't break me out, and it's from Corez, and it's the Vitamin E Face Primer. I just put a tiny little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cheeks, and I also put this under my eyes. And where it's Vitamin E, I find it to be quite moisturizing, and it really helps my under eye concealer not settle into my fine lines so bad. So, okay. Let me, I've already done that, so let me just go ahead and put on the foundation. This is very thin, very liquidy. As you can kind of hear, it has that little ball in it, so I just kind of shake it up. My shade, by the way, is 4.0. I'm about an NC25 right now, so I just used about a pump and a half, and I just like to start out by dotting that on my face. And then if I need to add more, then I'll do that later. Um, this is not as full coverage as what I'm used to. I usually like a really super like full coverage finish, but I wanted something lighter for the warmer weather. And my skin hasn't been doing too, too bad lately. So I really like this. Um, I do have a couple of issues over here. They're not active anymore. So, um, they're just kind of flat red spots, so it shouldn't be too hard to cover those up. This is a buildable foundation. I usually wear about two layers. Um, and again, even with, you know, two layers, it's, it's not going to be like the Revlon Color Stay Whipped or something like that that's like super duper full coverage. But like I said, I really don't mind most of the time. Oh, and I'm using a Sigma F80 brush with this. Okay, I'm just going to use like another half pump, really. And I'm going to go over some areas that need a little bit more coverage. Around my nose is like super red. And I don't put this under my eyes. Um... I just reserve that area just for like corrector and concealer. Okay, and that is basically the finish of the foundation. I really like how natural it looks. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, I don't really want to say dewy, but it's just very skin-like and I really like that, especially for this time of year and summer. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer over here and I'm gonna use Laura Geller, The Real Deal. This is um, in medium and this is a really full coverage concealer. Just gonna use a tiny little bit and that's actually too much. Um, pop that on right there and around my nose where I'm just so red for some reason today. And you can use a brush if you want. I'm just gonna kind of tap over it. Excuse my cracked lips too. It's just craziness. Okay, so I'm going to work on my under eye area now and I'm going to use my e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the Brightener shade. And I'm just going to apply that just a thin layer right under my eyes. I really like this product. It's working pretty well for me. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Concealer brush to just buff that in. Where this is so light, I try to really keep it just in the under eye area and not do like the big triangle 
with it. Um, I'll use something else for that if I want to, you know, go for that kind of look. This is probably a little bit too light for that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over that with some concealer. And my favorite one is the MAC Pro Longwear. This shade is NW20. And I'm just gonna dot that right under my eye and kind of blend it a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that same brush. Then I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and kind of blend out this line right here where this is quite a bit lighter than my skin. Makes it look a little more natural. I know it kind of still looks really bright, but we're going to highlight the rest of the face too and that will help even that out. Okay, with what is left of that concealer, I'm just going to highlight right in the center of my forehead and a little bit down the nose, just like to right there. A little bit on the Cupid's bow chin. And I've just got a tiny little bit left, so I'm just gonna take that right here. And then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just blend all that in. set my under eyes real quick with just a really thin powder. This one is from Tarte and it is the um, Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. For the rest of my face I'm going to use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder and just a really large brush. This is a powder foundation so by using a large brush like this it's just going to um, set our face and not really give as much coverage so that we don't get cakey and this shade by the way is medium beige Okay, so to put some color back in I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and I've been using this Every single day non-stop trying to use it up because when you get down this low you just get real excited You know and you just want to use it. So this is the Tarte Park Avenue princess bronzer this is the one that does have a sheen. It's not completely matte, so I just use it with a big fluffy brush to just warm up my skin tone. And this is so pretty. I'm, I mean, I'm sad that I'm almost done with it. I would definitely consider repurchasing it. I really like it. But just when you get down this low, you just want to use it, you know? I know you all know what I'm saying. And then for a little bit of blush, I want to go with something peachy today, so I'm going to use Milani Luminoso. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes in the whole entire world. And this does have a little bit of a sheen, so I don't think I'm going to go with a highlight today. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished up my lower lash line and put on my lips. And so this is the finished look for the skin. Um, I mean, as you can see, it doesn't cover up everything, but that is a little bit textured. Um, joy, oh, the joys, right? <laughs> but anyway, I really, really like the uh, finish of the foundation. I feel like it looks really natural and a little bit glowy. And I think this is going to be perfect for spring and summer and the warm weather. And, you know, just lighten up on the coverage a little bit and... Um, just like where it's a thin foundation, you really don't even feel it on your skin. So I really, really like it. Let me know if you guys like this foundation also and what you think of it. Look in the info bar. I'll list all the products that I use today. Um, I'll list out everything on my eyes and lips that I didn't show to you in case you're curious. Mostly makeup geek, just saying. And I'll also have my Twitter and Instagram links down there too. So, so um, I'll be 35 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So I'm going to give you all a little bonus bump shot to show you how much I've grown. I want you all to look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> y'all. So five, four weeks, yes. 
But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This is about foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.